Hello and welcome to this new video. It is a part of a series, so if you are new, please take a look to the previous videos because they are all connected. You will find the link on the description below. In this tutorial, we will see how to send an email from Gmail with not MCO. This is a simple example. Later, you can make a bigger project. Actually, we are not sending the email directly, but through another uh, site called the IFTTT, which stands for if this then that. IFTTT is a free web service that allows users to create a chain of uh, simple conditional statements called the applet, which are triggered uh, based on uh, changes uh, to other web services such as uh, Gmail or Facebook. Before accessing the site of uh, IFTTT, I created a Gmail account for my board, and uh, this is uh, the site of IFTTT. You need to create an account. I have already made one. Now we need to create an applet. The applet will connect the two services, webhooks and the Gmail. Webhooks is the service who will accept the request from Node MCU. Click on connect. Give an event name. Now we will choose the target service which is Gmail. Connect to the service if you are not already connected. Choose uh, the action uh, send an email. We will specify the address in value 1, the subject in value 2 and the body in value 3. They are like uh, variables that we will fill uh, in the code. In my case, I will send a message to my email address as a test, but you can put any address. Don't forget to click on uh, finish. This is our applet and uh, this is uh, the detail. Now let's go to the site easycoding.tn and search for any link to Tnot for ESP32. In the first part, I will connect to the network. We already saw how to do that in a previous video. This block will allow us to send the request to the site IFTTT. I need to specify the key of the uh, service webhooks and uh, this is how to get it. It is all the text after the word uh, use and uh, slash. Now I will fill uh, the other parameters. In the body, don't put a long text, otherwise you will have uh, problems.
Now I can upload my program and see the result. We already saw how to do that several times. As you can see, the request was sent. I will verify first if the applet was executed. Yes, it was executed once. As you can see, the message uh, was sent and received. If you have any problem or any question, don't hesitate to comment. I hope that you liked the video and see you soon. Bye.